with Diane Sawyer. Good evening. The president said it's a step toward energy independence as he called for the United States to start drilling for oil and natural gas off the U.S. coast in the water. We are talking about vast areas and an issue that has long been a political lightning rod. And Jake Tapper is at the White House tonight with exactly what the president announced and the reaction already pouring in from both sides. Jake. That's right, Diane. Well, President Obama may not have embraced the Republican chant, drill, baby, drill, but his words and actions took that effect as he announced the first new sales of offshore, offshore oil and gas rights in the Atlantic in more than two decades. In Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina, some residents are concerned about the president's announcement. That could be damage, irreversible damage for that, for that ecosystem. I just would be really concerned more so that it would ruin the beaches. They were reacting to President Obama's decision to allow drilling for oil and gas 50 miles off the coast of Virginia and his decision to allow exploration for oil and gas in the outer continental shelf from Delaware to the middle of Florida and to open areas for possible development in the Gulf of Mexico and Alaska. Now, this is not a decision that I've made lightly, but the bottom line is this. We are going to need to harness traditional sources of fuel even as we ramp up production of new sources of renewable homegrown energy. The site in Virginia could contain in total 130 million barrels of oil and 1.14 trillion cubic feet of natural gas. The areas being assessed on the East Coast, Gulf, and Alaska could contain up to 62 billion barrels of oil and 289 trillion cubic feet of natural gas total, though that could take decades to extract. By way of comparison, in 2008, the U.S. imported 4.7 billion barrels of oil. The president cautioned today that this move will not be enough. Drilling alone can't come close to meeting our long-term energy needs. The move was largely applauded by Republicans, such as the governor of Virginia. They could generate as much as 2,600 jobs, $8 billion in capital investments. In 2008, Republican cheers of drill, baby, drill taunted then-Senator Obama's seeming opposition to it. This afternoon, former Governor Sarah Palin offered a skeptical assessment on Twitter, saying that the president's goal is to, quote, cram through job-killing, energy-depleting, burdensome cap-and-tax scheme on the heels of Obama's new pro-drilling message. And Diane, experts caution there will be no immediate impact at the pump. These moves will take years, if not decades, to take effect. And in fact, oil went up another more, more than a dollar today, closing at $84 a barrel. Diane. Okay, Jake, it is a big story tonight.